Hey guys, this is Caitlin with Studio1862.com and I've got a few quick tips to show you in Photoshop and Illustrator today. I've been using Illustrator and Photoshop and all the Adobe products for about 10 years now and I'm still learning so I thought I'd share some of the things that I've learned. Okay, so jumping right in, this is switching between multiple tabs in the same software when you have a lot of documents open at the same time. This is really handy when you're working on several things that are part of the same project, but you need to switch back and forth between the documents. So all you need to do is press these two keys at the same time and it toggles you back and forth. Next, we're talking about using spell check in Illustrator. It's really handy because we all make mistakes. So all you have to do is go up to edit, check spelling, and hit start, and it will go through everything that you have that's open text. Next, we're talking about matching the zoom location across all open documents in the same software. Now, I've been editing some product images for a apparel company, and I found that it's really handy to use this. So let's say you're trying to edit a couple of the same types of documents at the same time. Really all you need to do is zoom in to the area that you want and you have a couple options here. You can go up to Window, Arrange, Match Zoom. It'll match the same zoom level but not the same area. Now if you want to match the zoom in the same area and the same level across all your open documents, then it's a little bit different, although it uses the same pull down menu. So now all you do is go up to Window, Arrange, and Match All. And there you go. The last tip I have for you today is rotating patterns inside their bounding box. What that means is basically you want to rotate the pattern, but not the bounding box, not the object itself. So that really comes in handy when you have it already placed where you want, but then you decide later that you want to change the angle. So go ahead and create a box with the pattern. You've already created it at this point, so all you need to do is change the swatch color. And just for comparison, I'll make this a little bit smaller, and I'll copy that one by hitting Option and click and drag. So use your Rotate palette uncheck transform objects, enter your angle, and hit OK. And as you can see, it's changed the pattern angle, but not the size or the rotation of the bounding box itself. One other thing, if you go to your transform palette and hit transform pattern only, you can change the size of the pattern here in these boxes without changing the bounding box. So that's all I have for today. I hope that you find those four tips really useful. 